Hello and welcome. My name is Alex. Some of you may have seen some of my other videos and some of you might be new here. I build things that I kind of need or need, want <laughs> when I make my music. And that's what I'm sharing with you guys on this channel. My music and things I build to be able to make music. I've been building guitars for a couple of years now. No, for eight years almost. Um, <laughs> Kind of long now. Anyway, I love making music, but there is this weird thing that happens sometimes when you try to make music that is that you're so much in the zone that things just happen. And I love to be in that creative zone and just let things happen. And so sometimes when I have to maybe switch out instruments and plug in new things and I have to, you know, look around for things to use or pull out drawers and pick out new pedals, I can kind of lose interest in making stuff uh, which is a bummer so I'm trying to create a place where I can always be creative without, without really getting to that point where I lose interest and it can be a thing like just you know you, you're playing guitar and you're singing at the same time and you get a feeling for the song and things are coming together nicely and then you have to pick up the bass and you're like ah oh, now I've lost it what was I doing I don't know. Anyway, so I had this idea that I would build a guitar that is both a guitar and a bass. Because the more instruments I can play at the same time, the better. Or maybe, maybe the better. Maybe better. I don't actually know yet. Uh, so I had this idea that I would build a guitar that is both a bass and a guitar. And so I built this one. Now, it's super simple, really. This is just a Stratocaster, as you can see. It has three pickups, but it has two output jacks. And the middle pickup goes to the volume and then has its own tone. And the volume is a double uh, pot, so it can control two pots at the same time. So I can have volume for, for this pickup going to this output jack all by itself. And as you can see on this pickup, it has six metal pole pieces that are sticking out and what I've done is I've removed the two higher notes the E and the B strings pole pieces so that this pickup is basically just a bass pickup I mean it is a middle pickup but it's sort of like a bass pickup inside of the guitar and I've done the opposite to the bridge pickup so I can decide if I want to play in the neck pickup and have a full guitar and add in a bass or I can play in the bridge pickup and have a split sort of thing where I can play like half a guitar and and a bass and just pick up the high notes and the low notes separately and uh, I thought it would be cool to share this with you guys um, so let's see what this is so the first thing we have to do is take the guitar body some of you guys might remember this body from other videos where I showed you ticks and trips on getting this kind of finish. The next thing we have to do is take the neck and we just line them up like so. We put the plate in place and the screws. Then we take our drill and we drill them in. Now, I like to stop when there is just a tiny gap, maybe a mill or something, and then slowly push it in the rest of the way. And then the absolutely last thing I do is I hand tighten. And I do that to save my hands so I don't have to work so hard. And I do the last part because I I really want to feel when I've over tightened them or rather before I over tighten them. Okay, so here is the electronics. I have the neck pickup has all its magnets and all its bolt pole pieces left. The middle pickup only has the base one. A bridge only has the treble side of the pole pieces left. You can't really see them because I put on covers that don't have any holes, but that's just an aesthetic thing. Then I have a double switch. So it can control the volume on both the 
pickups for the guitar and the one pickup for the bass. Then different tone knobs for the wiring. Pickups goes to the switch and then to the volume. But the, this pickup goes directly to the volume. And then I have two sets of cables to go to two different output jacks. Next video is going to be a more detailed video of me building this. So if you're more interested than what I'm saying right here, uh, you're going to have to check out that video because then I really show you how I did the whole this whole thing if you want to replicate it. So now we're just putting it card in and all we have to make do is make sure that the wires are going in the right place. So the four wires that are going to output jacks goes into this cavity here. I know this picard maybe looks a little bit wonky and weird but that's because this is an old pickup a picard and I'm if I liked this experiment, I'm going to make uh, a new pickguard and I'm going to invest in better electronics and better pickups and I'm just going to, you know, really focus in on getting like a really good bass sound and a really good Strat Telecand of sound. Uh, so this is just an experiment. So if you don't like this pickguard, don't worry, we'll find something better later down the line. I have an old Squire tremolo here and what I've done is I've cut grooves in here to accept these pole pieces that are from an old Floyd Rose that I pulled out of a guitar many years ago. It's an experiment that I've been curious about because everyone always tells me on the internet that six screw tremolos are worse than the two-point system. Now I don't believe that. I think it has to do with quality and that usually the two whole systems are higher quality ones and the six screw ones are more of a standard thing so I was thinking that we would try that out and see if it's true this is not a very good tremolo system it has these but I do want to experiment and see if it becomes a better uh, trem by having those two points instead now some of you guys are probably going to say it's obviously not the case, but I feel like I want to experiment and try things out and see for myself and not just draw conclusions based on nothing. So we're going to put this in. The way I do it is I pop it in like that. Then I take a thicker string. I hope you can see that I'm holding one. And I place it first lower E string in the saddle there. And then I pull it up to the nut and I look at the alignment down the neck to see where it should be if I should move it up or down and then I do the same thing on the other side okay so we have two sets of wire coming out of here the yellow one is the lead and the black one is the ground that's all you really need in a guitar everything needs to obviously be grounded but then you also just need a lead wire these are the wires that are gonna go to the two output jacks I've put some shrink tube on here and then I've done some color marks on this one. That's because this one is going through this hole here and out this side. And so I know that this output jack that is on the side here is going to be the bass guitar. And these two are going to go to this jack that is going to be the guitar. And if you look really closely at it, you can see that I have a little switch. All I did was drill a hole and then I filed it to the size where the switch would fit and that's because I think that maybe having a kill switch on this guitar for the guitar part could be a good thing so that I could if I want to just use this as a bass or something and then just flip on and get the guitar part in obviously you could do it the other way around you don't need this mod unless you think this whole thing is a good idea you could also just watch my other video where I built a pedal that has this effect in it and where you can just step on it to kill the signal and you could do that instead if you don't want to mod your output jack. And all I have to do is on the ring, the one that connects to the ring, where the jack plugs in, that is where I'm going to connect the ground wire and then the other one but on the switch that it's hard to see is where I'm going to connect the lead wire. 
Okay, so here's the other output jack, the one that is going to go to the base. And we have the same thing here. The ring, the middle ring inside here, is the ground wire. So we're going to heat this up and put it into the ground. And then we just have to push it in there. Align it with the holes and put in the screws. And I like to put in all screws for, at the same time and then tighten them down. Just to make sure that nothing goes wrong. There is no reason for anything to go wrong, but I like to be on the safe side. And yes, I'm using the wrong kind of screwdriver. Okay, so everything is done. The last thing to do is attach the strap buttons. Something like that. Now we just need to put strings through the bridge and then we can test this out. Okay, so the bass part of the guitar is going to go into this pedal. It's basically just a big muff uh, that I've built myself. And then it's going to go into this Vox amp. And the reason why I've chosen to put it into this Vox amp is because it has a setting where I can put it into a octave. So it goes down an octave. Uh, I've changed the settings on the amp so that it's mostly bass. The guitar part is going to go into this pedal and that's just to create some contrast. There's no real reason for it uh, except for the fact that I love this pedal so much. It's one of those guitar pedals that are just amazing. And then it's going into my Ibanez amp and the reason why I'm using this one is because it has a presence knob so I can make this a little bit brighter than the other amp and that's just I'm putting the EQ more on the treble side on this one lowering the bass and it's just to get contrast <laughs>
days now I've had this guitar and I've played it and I think it's a really interesting uh, thing I don't know if it works that well as a bass I mean sort of um, but I think it's a good thing you can do some interesting and weird new sounds with it I didn't think that this middle position on its own with just half a pickup and another pickup would be a really cool thing but I really think it is you get this extra uh, I suppose it's like the high frequencies or something uh, layered in so it becomes like a little bit more brighter in the in the higher strings kind of a cool thing you could do if you just want to have that thing going for you my experiment with the bridge I kind of think it's a failure uh, I feel like a six pole thing it was better before I did this weird mod thing and I think now it's I don't know I don't think there is any real difference between those two kinds of bridges if if it's a high quality bridge it's better it's a better bridge than a low quality bridge but if it's a two like this bridge is right now or if it's a six I don't think it really matters I think it's more a question of is it high quality or is it low quality and if it's high quality it's good if it's low quality it's you know it's low quality uh, so yeah mm, not really a good thing if you'd want one of these guitars it's you don't have to build an entire guitar like I've done here you can actually just um, buy you know like a Harley Benton or a Squire or any other you know strat copy guitar you want to build you can drill a hole here for a new output jack or you can install a stereo output jack and then build a box that splits right and left channel into separate mono jacks uh, if you want to go that way and not drill new holes into your guitars which I can totally understand if you want to don't want to do um, and then you just add the electronics uh, the way I do and the only thing you really need to like buy new to make this mod is well obviously an extra output jack if you go that way or a new stereo out jack uh, you need a new volume control and a new three-way switch uh, and possibly you know a capacitor for the tone uh, but other than that you know there isn't that much you need if you want to make this mod on one of your your strats that you already have um, yeah so next week I'm gonna upload the, a more detailed video on how I actually did the electronics I felt like that could be its own video and if you see this video and you think ah oh, that that's actually cool I actually do want to make that mod then you can watch that video and you get every single step and it's a longer video and it's just just the electronics every little thing and you can buy you know whatever parts or whatever pickups you think are the best uh, and do your own thing so if you like this uh, I would appreciate if you press the like button uh, and if you think this is cool or if you have any questions or anything like that you know just leave a comment I, I'll do my best to answer your, your questions and if you just want to like talk to me about the guitar you know your opinions or thoughts or if you have any other cool experiments you can write those comments too I love talking to you guys so I'll yeah I'll see you in the next video keep awesome and cool and don't forget to play guitar because that's the most important part bye bye